Hi guys, here's my Rauschenberg. Um, I guess it's really not too Rauschenbergy, but it's my version of taking found objects and using them in a piece of artwork. And these are the old rusty bits that I found by the tracks. And so they're really cool just on their own. I didn't uh, touch them up at all. I, want, I thought about it, but I wanted to leave them sort of true to the way that I found them. So, and I like them all put out, presented in a rose like this. Kind of makes me think of some sort of museum lab or medical lab where you'd lay pieces of something out, a body, dinosaurs, or something from a wreck, trying to piece it back together. And I just like the simplicity of it. And I like the square too because it kind of frames it up nicely. And I used uh, like a copper leaf background and aged it a bit and this I also did the back on this one and I have to thank Amy Peacock from this site let me just turn this around and she let me borrow completely her background or her painting um, blue washers to use as my background and I just really love the way that she used the circles and the colors so I borrowed it. Thank you, Amy. I did get her permission. So there's a religious theme to this painting. The crown on top represents Jesus. And the Bible was uh, something that was handed out to me during a parade. And then I antiqued it. I put a bullet there. Much to my husband's dismay. He thinks that that's a little too dangerous. But hopefully nothing will happen. And the bullet is in the Bible uh, it's to represent the Christian idea of eternal death if one doesn't accept Christ. And lock and key. I've used this, this theme before and that to me signifies sort of finding your own way and unlocking your own spirituality. And I put some uh, bits of lake glass that I found down by Lake Ontario. And that's to represent you know, individuals struggling with the unlocking and uh, there's one green one and that's to represent your own individuality. The nails are from our church. They're old carpentry nails. Uh, we did renovations at our church and our church is 150 years old so we grabbed some of the nails from the old uh, woodwork that was in there and there to signify the three spikes that were put into Jesus on the cross. And I use these funny little springy things that I also found on the tracks, one at the top and one at the bottom. And that's sort of a, a beginning and an end, Alpha and Omega kind of thing, also a Christian belief that God is the beginning and the end of all. And I used a chain around the border. And the chain always represents to me sort of either strength or confinement. And uh, I think people struggle with those things, with those issues, when it comes to religion. So I also have to thank Ron for the idea of using the back of a canvas. This actually is a masonite board. And there it is. Thanks, guys.